Hey guys, Paul Schumer with the US Biathlon team here today to tell you a little bit more about what makes a biathlon rifle specific for biathlon. One of the first things that I'm asked about when I, people hear that I do biathlon is what kind of rifle do I use? Majority of biathletes shoot the exact same action and barrel, which is manufactured by Anschutz Fortner in Germany. It is referred to as slide action or straight pull, which allows for smooth and quick rebolting while on the range. Let's now take the action and barrel off the stock to take a closer look at the bolt. So here we have the bolt of the rifle. Here at the end, you can see the firing pin. A 22 long rifle is a rim fire, um, not a center fire. At times you can break your firing pin if you do a lot of dry fire or just other things going to go wrong. So generally we try to replace our firing pin at least once a year, especially before the season begins. The firing pin is essential because that is the part of the rifle that ignites the primer on the cartridge. In rim fire, the primer is at the rim of the cartridge, whereas in center fire rifles, it's at the center. Bathlon ammo has to meet in a certain criteria. International teams also do ammo testing to ensure the ammo's performance in sub-zero temperatures. Here are some pictures of our coaches doing our ammo testing this year in the ski tunnel in Vukati, Finland. To reinsert the bolt into the action, I simply slide it in the rear and then tighten down this threaded piece. Then I take the pin and slide it in. After the pin is slid into place, simply turn the back to secure it and now my bolt is reinstalled in the action and ready to be remounted onto the stock. The action and barrel are attached to the stock with two bedding bolts. It's important when putting the action and barrel back onto the stock to not over tighten your bedding bolts because this could affect the accuracy of the rifle. Now that we have the action and barrel back on the stock, let's take a look at the different parts of the stock. First, we have the pistol grip and the cheek piece. Next, we have the butt plate and a closed trigger guard, which protects a trigger that must have a weight of greater than 500 grams. Next, we have the standing block, which the shooter uses to stabilize the rifle in the standing position. From the standing position, we can see that there is a rear sight and a front sight, both equipped with snow covers. There is no magnification allowed in biathlon, and only open sights must be used. Each stock has a place where the magazines are held. Here we can see the harness, which allows the athlete to carry the rifle on their back. Next, we have the handstop and the sling, which are used in prone shooting, which attach to the arm cuff on the athlete to be used during prone shooting, pictured here. Biathlon stocks come in many different shapes and colors. The stock is fit to the biathlete to match their body type, but also their shooting style. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope it gave you some more insight into what makes Biathlon Rifles unique. Make sure to like and subscribe, and comment with what you would like to see in future videos.